I wish that black women would stop comparing themselves to other races of women and assuming what other cultures do. In Ghana, India, and China, some tribes have a matrilineal kinship system and property and family lineage are passed through the female members. Not all cultures stick to patriarchy. Historically, both men and women have played vital roles in supporting their families. Some royal families were even led by matriarchs. It's important not to assume that everyone except in African-American culture sees men as the primary providers. My Asian neighbors, for example, are both well-educated and successful, sharing responsibilities at home. In a partnership, it's about two individuals defining their role in their household, regardless of societal expectations about gender roles. The grass look greener on the other side. You don't know what these women had to do to get the treatment that they get from the men inside of their culture. A lot of the things that black women do a lot of things that we say, other races of women do not do that. So we would have to give up a lot of our behaviors, a lot of the things that we learned, a lot of things that are a part of our culture in order for somebody else's culture to apply to us. There is a reason why women fought so hard to have gender equality. A woman talking on a podcast is something that we could not do. A woman having a job, a woman owning her own home, a woman tying her own shoes, a woman being a doctor or a lawyer, a woman speaking at church. We couldn't get a divorce. We couldn't wear pants. A woman being a professor at a college, women being able to vote. We couldn't smoke. We couldn't go shopping without our man escorting us. We couldn't be in the Olympics. We couldn't own a passport. We couldn't learn about business or finance. In, a, in America, America, I'm talking about here. If we wanna be treated how the other women in other cultures should be treated, we can't dress the way that we dress. We can't talk the way that we talk. All that music that y'all be listening to, Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Sexy Red, Suki, Hana, you can forget it. Doja Cat, whoever else. Can't listen to that. Women being able to think for themselves in general was something that we could not do. So there is a reason why women fought to be able to do that because we were literally being treated like slaves. We were dehumanized. Not every culture believes in a patriarchal society. I am not a feminist. A lot of men are overworked miss their wives and want to spend time with their children. It's a lot of men out there that work extremely hard, made a lot of money, but have a terrible relationship with their children because they were never spending time with them. Men want to experience their children. And the only way they can do that is if women go out there and get their own bread too and share the responsibility so y'all can take turns. Yes, there are a lot of single mothers who are sick of living in poverty. They're sick of doing things on their own. Yes, it's women out there that exist. But there's also women out there who actually enjoy single motherhood. They actually have support from their village or their family. They're happy. I'm not a pick me. I'm not a black woman hater. I'm not any of that. All I'm saying is a lot of black women are arrogant and conceited and think they are this perfect version of what a woman should be to a man. And instead of improving who they are as women, they will simply blame men for why they're not married. The truth is a lot of us just kept picking dusties. There's a difference between a dusty and an exceptional man. And a lot of women just don't know how to pick them. Then again, if it was more exceptional men instead of dusties, it would be easy to pick one.